A number of cases being presented in Kenyan court have fallen short of prosecution, some being terminated in nascent stages all blamed on shoddy police investigations. It is this trend that is worrying the Independent Policing Oversight Authority, which is now warning officers that they might be personally held liable for cases they handle if such cases tripped in the court due to hazy investigations. The chairman of the Oversight Authority, Mashari Anjeru, said such negligence in the part of the police force mark impunity which cannot be tolerated in the reformed Kenya. We've received uh, approximately 1,090 complaints. Our investigators are in the field and are taking serious and comprehensive investigations on 27 cases, which will be expecting results in due course. We've completed, as we speak now, uh, three, investigator, three investigations, which will be giving recommendations to the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions for possible prosecution in some of the cases for disciplinary action to the National Police Service Commission. He said already his office has received over a thousand complaints from the public on the contact of some police officers and action will be taken against such officers if they found culpable. With a consistent pattern of uh, the police, uh, either ignoring summons from uh, our investigators or where they obey them, sometimes they tamper with evidence or substitute with a view to derailing uh, the investigation that it's important for us to send a clear message to these police officers that you cannot tamper with evidence and consequently they also need to be charged. Mashari Wu was speaking after receiving a donation of forensic equipment from the U.S. government to aid investigations. The U.S. ambassador to Kenya, Robert Kodak, said the equipment will aid in resolving sophisticated cases and building the authorities' investigative capacity. Provided significant assistance to IPOA to help build its capacity. Today's donation of forensic equipment is just a small part of it. Overall, we have provided already over one million U.S. dollars, over 85 million Kenya shillings to IPOA to help with training, to help with equipment, to help with all sorts of different things that IPOA needs in order to get its job done. Robert, Etakwa Channel 1, News Hour.